Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to do something that I'm actually really excited for and I've been dying to do for a few months now actually um, and it is a makeup declutter and just kind of showing you guys my whole collection and getting rid of stuff that I no longer like or stuff that isn't good anymore, it's expired. Um, so yeah. But yeah, I'm really excited to kind of narrow down my makeup collection. I've kind of recently realized that it is way too much and it stresses me out. And makeup shouldn't stress you out, it should be fun. Um, and so I just kind of want to dwindle it down, keep what I really love, um, and make sure that I don't have anything expired because I do have a few like eczema patches and I've noticed them flaring up a lot recently. And I think it could be because it is cold outside and it usually flares up then, but it also could be because some of my makeup is expired that I'm using. So I just wanna make sure that there could be no makeup that is affecting it um, and just kind of get rid of that so there's no chance. But yeah, so if there is any makeup that isn't expired and I'm still getting rid of it, I'm probably just gonna give it to like friends or something and see if they want it. Um, I'm not just gonna like throw it away unless it is bad or like mascara or something that I've used on my eyes and I don't wanna give that away. I know I personally really love to watch these videos. I love to have them on in the background and like see what other people use. Um, so I thought this would be really fun and exciting to do. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so starting out, I have the Alex nine drawer system from Ikea. Um, I got this last year actually for Christmas because I thought it would be amazing to store all my makeup. It's been pretty good um, and I have baskets for all of these. This basket I think I got from TJ Maxx. So this is my face drawer. So I have foundations, I have some concealers, and I have primers. So I think let's go through primers first. Um, this one actually has been in my everyday makeup drawer. It's the Dr. Brandt Luminizing Primer. Um, I really, really love it. I've been using it every day, so I'm definitely going to keep this. Um, now this e.l.f. one, I need to check the date, like the expiration dates on here. Um, I do really like it, and this is like the drugstore version almost of the Dr. Brandt primer. So I'm going to check the expiration on this and get back to you guys on this one. This one will be a maybe. I do like it, but I just don't know how old it is. So this is a Cover FX Blurring Primer. Um, I used to be obsessed with this. I got it in a BoxyCharm and um, I used it for a really long time. I loved it. Um, let's see what the expiration says. 12 months. Okay, um, I think I'm going to keep this. I don't really use blurring primers as much right now because of my eczema on my cheeks. Um, so I'm gonna keep this for just a little bit and we'll see if I end up using it. This is the Essence Prime Studio uh, HD Hydrating Primer Spray. I do really like this one. I just got it, I think, in the summer. It says a six month um, lifespan, so I'm gonna keep this one. Let's see, the AOA Studio Wonder Skin Illuminating Primer. I'm gonna feel this real quick because I can't remember. I think I used to like this. Y'all can tell I like illuminating primers. <laughs> um, let's see the date on this. 12 months. I got this summer of two years ago, actually. So yeah, okay, this is bad. I'm gonna get rid of this. Um, this is the Lancome UV Expert Aqua Defense Gel, Aqua Gel Defense <laughs> Sunscreen in SPF 50. Um, I've been using this pretty much every weekend, um, just when I'm not using my foundation that already has SPF in it, so I'm definitely going to keep this. I guess I've already gone through a lot of it, sorry that was my phone. Um, I guess I've already gone through a lot of it because it's already like getting squished, but I do really like this. Let's see what that was. <clears throat> okay, this is the Wish Botanical Primer. Um, I think I got this in an Ipsy bag. Let's see. It's got a 12 month expiration. I think this is one one of my first products I got in an Ipsy. So I'm pretty sure it's over a year old. I'm going to get rid of this. This is the Milani Prime Perfection Face Primer, the hydrating version. Um, I think I tried this and I don't really remember liking it. 
Um, yeah, I don't think I remember liking it. And the, the packaging got so dirty so quickly, like I don't un even understand. So I'm gonna get rid of this. This is the No Pore Bloom Priming Water from Touch and Soul. I think it's a deluxe size sample, like compared to this little sample size, it's definitely bigger. Um, I think I kind of liked this a little bit. It is a like oily primer um, and I have dry skin so I think I did like this a lot. So I'm going to put this like in my everyday to try out again and see how I like it um, in the winter months. This is the Derma E uh, Radiant Glow Face Oil. Um, it doesn't have a expiration on it um, but I've kind of been using this in my everyday makeup to try and get rid of it um, I do like it so I'm gonna keep it and then this is the thank me later face primer from Elizabeth Mott it's mattifying um, I am gonna keep this I haven't been using like I said I have not been using my mattifying primers just because of my exit on my face recently so I'm gonna keep this, maybe it'll go away come uh, warmer weather, so we'll see. I'm just not sure about this e.l.f. primer, like if it's expired or not, so I'm gonna get rid of it just to be safe. Okay, so, so far we are keeping one, two, three, four, four full-size primers and one, two, three um, trial-size primers and getting rid of four. Okay, moving on to, let's do concealers. Um, so first thing I'm picking up is this Maybelline Master Camo Color Correcting Kit. I actually got this at the 99 cent store. Um, it's in the shade medium. I don't really use it at all, but I do kind of like this highlight shade. Um, it's a cream highlight. It's really pretty, um, but I'm not sure it's worth keeping for just the highlight shade. You can't really see it, but. Yeah, it's not really worth keeping. I'm going to get rid of this. Okay, um, these two Maybelline Photo Focus Concealers, I love these for giving myself a little more coverage. Um, I have it in light, medium beige, and medium peach. This is kind of my summer color. Um, let's see how long these last. It doesn't really give a... It doesn't really give a expiration date on them, but um, this is like my summer color. So I'm gonna keep this in here, and this is my like everyday color right now. Um, so I'm gonna keep this and put it in my everyday drawer. This is the Mary Kay Under Eye Corrector. I absolutely love this. It's so good. I use it every day, definitely keeping. Um, the e.l.f. Camo Concealer, this is pretty new to me. I do like it, it's like, you have to go very light-handed with this, um, but I'm definitely going to keep it. The ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Medium 20. I guess I should give you the shade. I have Medium Sand and Elf. Um, this I do really like. I think it's a little too dark for me now, so I'm going to keep it in here um, and keep it for when I'm a little more tan. The Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I used to love this, but it must be expired because I hate it now. Like, I retried it again this past month, and I hate it. And it's literally, like, almost done, so I'm just going to get rid of it. Um, this is actually the one that I've been wearing lately, and it is a sample from my mom. Um, it's the Mary Kay Time Wise Matte 3D Foundation, and I'm wearing the shade Beige in 190, so it's neutral 190. I'm definitely keeping this. Um, I also have to give it back to her once I get my own shade, so... Um, so this Essence uh, Awake Makeup Healthy Glow Foundation in the shade Fresh Sun Beige. Um, I got this last year, around the beginning of the year, and it's a 12-month expiration date. I definitely, I used it a little bit. Um, it's, it was too light for me to use during the summer when I usually like a lighter coverage, which this is definitely lighter coverage. So I went to go reach for it earlier today and noticed that it lasts only 12 months, so I need to get rid of this. Um, same thing with this one. This is the Pacifica Dreamy Cover Bare Faced Serum Foundation, SPF 20. I have mine in the shade Light Medium. Um, it's a, it's, okay, it leaks like everywhere. Ow, I hit my hand. It leak, like you can see it. It leaks everywhere, it's so messy, and it doesn't even look right. 
it would always show off all my texture on my skin and it also has a 12 month lifespan i got this about the same time as the other essence one so i'm just gonna chunk it um the next one is the l'oreal true match lumi cushion foundation in the shade w3 i got this from um tj maxx i believe actually and i do really like it um the shade is almost a little too dark for me right now but i've still kind of been using it as very light coverage um i do like bb creams so, um, not BB creams, cushion foundations. So I'm going to keep this. The next cushion foundation that I have is this Wet n Wild foundation in uh, neutral beige, which is light medium. I haven't opened it. I'm going to keep it. And maybe once I run out of this one, I'll use this. This, These uh, cushion foundations don't really last longer than about two months. So I'll probably finish this in December, maybe start this in January. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, next one is the Mary Kay Time Wise Luminous Wear Liquid Foundation. This is the old um, the old formula of the Luminous Foundation, and they're about to come out with a new one. It just hasn't come out yet, so I've been holding on to this one. I think it definitely is too dark for me. Yeah, it's definitely too dark for me. And I don't even know what shade it was. Somehow I got one that didn't have a shade number on it, because I guess it was from my mom. It didn't need to. Um, it doesn't match me anymore, so I think I'm just going to get rid of it. I'll see if she wants it. I don't know. <clears throat> the next two are the Wet n Wild um, Photo Focus Foundations. I have it in Classic Beige and Soft Beige. Soft Beige is what I wear right now. Um, let's see if they have an expiration date on here. No, it doesn't say the expiration on here. Because um, I think I've definitely had these... I've maybe had this one for longer than the lighter cut, the lighter um, shade. This is like my sh summer shade and this is like right now it fits me. Um, yeah, I think this one is probably gonna be expired. Let's take a look at it maybe. I mean, it smells like paint, so that's usually what it smells like, but usually this wand comes out with a bunch of stuff on it and doesn't really have a lot, so I think I'm just gonna get rid of it because I don't think I'm ever gonna be this dark again. I usually was very dark in the summers because I've been in marching band pretty much since high school, so I don't think I'm gonna need this anymore. So I'm just gonna keep the lighter shade and uh, be done with that. <clears throat> so the next thing I have is this Yinsa um, Skin On Skin BC Foundation um, in SPF 40. This has an expiration date of 18 months. It probably is still good. And it's definitely too dark for me right now. I might keep this um, since I don't really have a foundation that might fit my summer shade. So I might keep this to mix in with stuff when I start to get a little tan. So the next two that I have are the Maybelline Fit Me foundations. I have Matte and Poreless and Dewy and Smooth. Um, I know that I did not enjoy the matte and poreless one because I have uh, normal to dry skin, more on the dry side because of my eczema patches, so I don't think I'm going to keep this one, even though this one was my lighter shade. Sad. Um, and this is my dewy and smooth one. I did really love this color. I mean, not this color, this formula. I think the color is definitely way too dark on me. I'm going to get rid of it because I just, I'm not this color anymore. I can't wear it. Um, this is the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation in the shade Buff Beige. I'm definitely not this shade anymore, and this is the old formula before they went, I think, vegan cruelty-free. So I'm going to get rid of it, and I'm pretty sure it should be expired. I have had this for over like two years or so, so I'm going to get rid of it. But I did really like this, so I might pick it up in my actual shade now in the new formula. Okay, foundations. Wow, ooh, I like how this looks. Looks so much better. So, okay, here is all the primers that I'm keeping. Um, right now, I'm going to move this to my everyday makeup drawer. Um, I'm going to move this, this, and this to my everyday makeup drawer. I'm going to move this and this to my everyday makeup drawer, and this is all I have left. Oh my gosh, this is so satisfying. Wow, why did I not do this earlier? I love this. Okay, so this is just like I wanted to show you guys. I do have my top drawer is my makeup brushes and like sponges and other things like that. Um, and this is the makeup brush cleaner back here that I have. I think it's just Sephora brand. Let me get it out. Yeah, makeup brush shampoo from Sephora. Um, I don't think I'm going to get ready. 
rid of any makeup brushes. I like to have extras just in case when I do like an Instagram look, I wanna do some crazy colors. I can dip into these. So I don't think I'm gonna get rid of them. I just wanted to show you that I do have a drawer for brushes. So the next drawer right here, oh my gosh, this is so many things. It's making me nervous. Um, is so I have sprays back here, facial sprays, bronzers or this section. This is like cream highlights. This is powder highlights. Um, this is cream blush stick that's over there. Face powders and more blushes. I have a ton of blushes like, ooh. Okay, let's get started. So I'm gonna pull out the facial sprays first. This is the Hawaiian Tropics um, SPF sunscreen spray. Um, I saw that, I think it was Khloe Kardashian in her like Vogue, I think, makeup routine where she puts um, sunscreen on every day and she puts it on her hands too. So I got this to try and um, go over my makeup and I put it on my hands every day. Um, I use this every single day. I love how it smells. It doesn't make my skin feel weird or anything. Um, and I just think it's important to wear SPF every day. Even if I'm wearing a foundation that has SPF in it, I still put this on and I put this on my hands too so when I'm driving to work, they're not getting sun damage. So I'm gonna move this to my everyday makeup drawer. Okay, so the next spray I have is the Pixie Glow Mist spray and I actually got this for Christmas last year so I really hope that it's not... Okay, this is 12 months. It's only the last 12 months, oh my god. Okay, well, this is the Glow Mist. And you know what, it's been sealed for a while, so I haven't actually opened it until maybe summer. Um, crap, why did I do that? That's so bad, I'm so stupid. Okay, well, I'm definitely keeping this. This is like one of my favorite, favorite, favorite facial sprays. Um, and I guess I'll try and use it up because it might be going bad soon. But this is the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. I got this in a boxy charm. Um, let's see, it has a 12 month lifespan. I think I got it at the beginning of the year. Um, you know, I kind of liked this, but when you spray it, it does actually leave like some flecks of glitter. So I would personally rather use the Pixie Mist than this one. So I think I'm gonna see if anybody wants this before it goes bad and they can use it up. I'm gonna put the Pixie one back in here. Okay. Next thing I have is the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. This is a six month lifespan. Wow, it's definitely past six months and there's really not a lot in it. I used to use this all the time for game days um, when I was in the band and I absolutely love this stuff, but it's just too drying for my skin now. So I'm just gonna chunk it. It really has like maybe two uses left in it anyways. So I'm not too sad about giving this up. This is the last spray. I know there's a few back here that I didn't see. Okay, um, this next spray is from Smoke and Mirrors. This is a, a 99 cent store brand, actually. Um, doesn't have an expiration date on it, but I really didn't enjoy this that much. It was whatever, so I'm just gonna chunk this or give it to somebody if they want it. I just got this, so it's there's no way it's bad already. Okay, this next one I've actually been using every day. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Rose Primer Water. Well, I don't really use it as a primer water. I actually use it um, right when I finish putting all my powder products on my face. I use this to kind of soak everything into my skin so it won't look too powdery. This has a, let's see, expiration date. It doesn't tell you. What the heck? Maybe it's eight months because there's an 8M right here. I don't know. Um, but I do really like this, and there's not too much left, so I've still been using this about every day, so I'm just going to keep this in my everyday drawer. The next thing I ooh, the next thing I have is the NYX Dewy Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray. This has a six month lifespan. I think I picked this up um, during football season last year, so it's definitely longer than six months, so this is going in the trash. Okay, this is, I think this is the last one, yeah. This is the last um, facial spray that I have. It's the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. Does not have an expiration date, I am not surprised, but I usually just use this um, to wet my brushes um, when I'm gonna pick up like a shimmery sh eyeshadow shade. So I'm just gonna keep this for that purpose specifically. Um, Lord only knows how long I've had this for. I really don't, really don't know. Let's smell it. I mean, it smells fine. 
I don't know. I, I wasn't obsessed with this. I really, like I said, only used it to wet my shadow brushes. So I'm just going to chunk it. It's, it's probably expired, let's be honest. Okay, so for facial sprays, um, let's show you the ones I'm keeping. I'm keeping these three. I'm moving these two to my everyday drawer and I'm keeping this in this. Actually, I'm going to put it up here with the foundations since I really don't have much in that uh, section at all anymore. Um, so I'm going to move this to everyday drawer. I am chunking these three because they are definitely bad. And I'm going to see if any friends want these two. Okay, let's move on to face powders. So um, let's start off with this one. This is the NYX HD Finishing Powder um, in Banana, I think. Yeah, and I just recently got this. Actually, I've been loving getting banana powders to use um, like to set my concealer on my eyes and I just take a mini beauty blender and put that on my under eyes. So I'm definitely keeping this and I'm gonna move it to my everyday drawer. <clears throat> Same with this powder. This is the Milani Prep Set and Glow Illuminating Transparent Powder. Um, so like I said, since I have normal to dry skin, I've really been liking this kind of like very light touch setting powder for my face. Um, let's see the expiration on this 12 months. Yeah, it's definitely still good. So I'm gonna keep this in my everyday drawer Moving on to face powders that I don't really use as use as much. Wow, that was hard <laughs> This is the Too Faced uh, Primed and Poreless Skin Smoothing Pressed Powder. I just got this from TJ Maxx actually and I really liked it up until my eczema flared up and I really can't use this on there because it just makes my skin look so patchy and gross um, so I'm going to keep this. I know it's like pretty new, so I know it'll last, it says 12 months. So I definitely have a long time for this. So I'm going to keep this for when my eczema is not as bad. I don't know where to put it, <laughs> but okay. So let's go with Cody Airspun. Good Lord. Cody Airspun is so messy. Like I'm already, I already have powder on my hands. Um, this is the translucent extra coverage face powder. Does it have an expiration date? Probably not. But you know what? I, I loved this stuff when I was in band. I absolutely adored it. It was my favorite. But now that my skin is dry, I mean, my skin was dry in band too. I just still used it anyways because it kept it, my, uh, kept my face makeup from moving. But um, yeah, I'm just going to see if somebody else wants this because I honestly don't use it at all anymore. Next loose face powder that I have is the Pretty Vulgar Powder. Um, it's called the Powder Room Matte About It translucent setting powder. It has a 12 month lifespan. I think I got this in a boxy charm in the summer. So definitely is still good. Um, it came with a little puff in it and I did actually like this one. So ooh, should I keep it? I think I'm going to keep it. Um, and then this is the last setting powder that I have. It's the Derma Blend Illuminating Banana Powder. Um, this has a two year lifespan. That's good. So I think I'm gonna keep this, and once I use up that banana powder from NYX, then I'll dip into this one and try and use it up. I did actually like this, but I just prefer a, a like, uh, what's it called? Not a loose powder, but a pressed powder. There we go. A pressed powder for my face every day. It's just less messy, but I do need to get more use out of this, so I will keep it. Okay, so review, I'm keeping these. I'm putting this in my everyday drawer. And then I am seeing if a friend wants this one. All right, moving on, let's go to blushes. Like I have a ton. Ooh, okay. So I have this NYX Land of Lollies uh, blush and this I got in their uh, advent calendar last year. I think it's one of the only things that I kept. Um, it is the shade, I guess it's Lollipop Hop. It's really pretty. I use this kind of a lot during the summer it has an 18 month lifespan, so I'll still be able to have this and it'll still be good by the summer of next year of 2020. So I'm just going to keep this. It was really pretty. I do like it. This next one is another NYX blush. Oh my God. It is so bright. It doesn't look that bright on camera, but it is like neon. Um, this is in the shade Double Dare and it only has a six month lifespan. I think I got this in my first Ipsy bag. So it's definitely expired and I didn't like this at all. Um, I don't think I really liked the, f oh my 
gosh, that's too bright. I don't think I like the formula. I did not like the shade. I'm just going to get rid of it. It's no, no. Okay. Next one is this Anastasia Blush Trio. Oh, so gorgeous. It's in the shade Peachy Love. It is a 12 month lifespan. I think I got this this summer, so I'm definitely keeping this. This is so beautiful. I love these. If you find this at TJ Maxx, you need it. It's gorgeous. Okay, let's go from the front. Um, this is the Laura Geller Beauty um, Vivid Swirl Bla Baked. Oh my God, Baked Gelato Vivid Swirl Blush and Plumberry. That was hard to say. I just recently got this from TJ Maxx as well. Um, it's like a nice plummy shave for the holidays. I really love this. I'm definitely keeping it and I think I'm going to put it in my everyday drawer. The next one is this Essence Satin Touch, Satin Touch Blush in the shade Satin Love. This is the 12 month lifespan and I, you know, I'm not sure if this is still, oh, it feels so good. Oh my gosh, if this is still good. Um, it was really pretty. I love this formula of the Satin Touch blushes. I've heard amazing things. It really is true. Like these are so gorgeous and they feel amazing. Um, I just don't know if I've had this for longer than a year. I think I'm going to keep it anyways because <laughs> face products, like I don't think this really is going to go that bad. So I'm going to keep it for now. <laughs> The next thing I have are these two Tarte uh, Amazonian clay blushes. I have one in Parte, party, but with three A's, or no, two A's, sorry. Um, this is actually pretty close color match to the Satin Touch blush. Let's swatch that. Oh, that doesn't come off in a swatch. Yeah, it does. Okay, it's a little more... You really can't see it that much on my skin, but it's a little more purpley than this one. Um, it's like a cooler tone. This is a 12 month lifespan as well. And you know, I think I've definitely had it for longer than 12 months and it, it kind of is like hard panned. So like, that's why I didn't swatch that well. I think I'm gonna get rid of it. And I'd rather keep this one, which is saying a lot, Essence versus Tarte. That's a big price difference. The next one I have is in the shade Quirky. This is a really pretty color. I loved this for um, summertime. I think I got this in my most recent either BoxyCharm or Ipsy in the summer. So I'm definitely gonna keep it. The next one I have in here is this Note Blush um, in the shade Desert Rose. And it has a 24 month lifespan. I did not like this blush at all. I didn't like the formula. I don't like the color. I'm just going to get rid of it. Um, 24 months. It's probably still good, so I might see if somebody wants this one. Okay, the next thing I have is the Studio Makeup Loose Blush. Um, it doesn't have a shade on it, but let's see. It's really pretty, but I just don't like loose blushes, so I don't think it's bad. I think it has a 12 month lifespan. Let me get the cat back on. Um, yeah, 12 month lifespan. I don't think it's bad. So I'm going to try and see if a friend wants this. The next one I have, oh my gosh, y'all. I was in love with this Milani baked blush. It's so gorgeous. It's in Berry Amore. It has a 24 month lifespan. And you know what? I think it might be coming up on 24 months. Let's see if it's, oh, look at that. It's just so beautiful. You really can't see it at all on my skin with a swatch, but oh gosh, this is just so gorgeous. But I think this is bad. I do, I think it's bad. So I'm gonna get rid of it. I might purchase another one once I get a little further with the other blushes I have, but oh my gosh, I definitely recommend these Milani baked blushes. They are absolutely gorgeous. If you like a luminous look to your blush, you're definitely gonna love this. Okay, uh, let's go for this one. The Revolution Triple Baked Blusher in Candy Queen of Hearts. Let's see the expiration date, 12 months. I got this out of TJ Maxx as well. It is very, very, very luminous. Like there's almost no color in it. It's almost all just glitter. So glittery. Look at that. Wow. Um, hmm. I think I like, I like this Laura Geller one that I have better than this one. So I think I'm going to get rid of this one, see if a friend wants it. It's definitely not bad by now. 
So this is the Laura Geller, uh, let's see, the Baked Blush and Brighten in Tropic Hues. I got this in a boxy charm. It's so sad because I broke it. I dropped it on the ground and I broke it, but it's still so gorgeous. I'm definitely gonna keep this one. I love this. So we're gonna put that over here. The next one I have is this Morphe blush in the shade Spirit. Um, I got this, I think, in a boxy charm or an Ipsy. It's a really pretty, um, like berry shade. Um, this and that, here it is, that Laura Geller one. These are kind of really good uh, wintry colors. So I'm gonna keep this one and kind of rotate these two between the winter months. Okay, so here's the blushes, well, including this one that I'm putting in my everyday drawer that I'm, ah, don't go away from me. I'm keeping, um, here's the ones that I'm going to try and see if any friends want, and then here's the ones that are expired. Okay, um, let's move on to, I guess, some face palettes, actually. I have some little face palette things over here. So this is a Coastal Scents, blush and bronzer palette. I got this in a boxy charm, I think. These are definitely old and expired. I didn't really like the color. I didn't really like the formula, so I'm just gonna toss it. Okay, I have my Mary Kay mini palette. Um, I do have some eyeshadows in here that I'm definitely keeping. This color is so beautiful. Um, let's see if I can get the shade for you. Oh, that was difficult. Uh, it's hot coral. And let me get the bronzer shade as well. This is Latte. Um, Hot Coral was beautiful. I used this um, in the summer a few times. I really loved it. I need to get some more use out of it next summer. Um, and I need to get some more use out of this contour shade because I did actually really like that. So I'm definitely keeping those. And then I have this Pure Bronze and Brighten palette in the Dreamer collection, I guess. Bronze and Brighten cheek palette. Um, this came with a blush, a highlighter, and a bronzer. This bronzer was way too shimmery for me to use as a bronzer. I did like this highlight a lot, and this blush, oh god. <laughs> oh, that's scary. Oh my gosh. Okay, what's the expiration on you? Six months, it's definitely past six months. I'm gonna have to go grab a makeup wipe. That was crazy. Okay, we're getting rid of this. Okay, let's get started on some bronzers. I actually have this one first. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Contour uh, in light. This is contour and a highlight. Um, this is from the 99 cent store actually. And let's see the expiration on this. You can't see anything, they have a million stickers on this. I'm just gonna toss it. Pretty sure no one's gonna get any good use out of this, so. This is the Maybelline Fit Me. This is actually a foundation stick. I have it in the shade Toffee. Um, I use this a lot in the summer. Let's see if it has an expiration on it. It's probably bad. <laughs> um, it's my only like cream bronzer, but I, I definitely think that it's bad by now. Let's give it a smell. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't smell bad. Mm, it'll be bad by the time I want to use it again. I usually just use cream stuff in the summer so i think i'm gonna toss this yeah okay here is a mini Too faced chocolate soleil blush not blush <laughs> bronzer this is in the medium deep shade oh my god it smells so good y'all okay this has a 12 month lifespan and i'm pretty sure i got this this past year in a boxy charm or ipsy or something I'm gonna keep it. I really love this. I need to get more use out of this. Um, going into the winter months, I don't usually use like a luminous bronzer. I usually use like a baked bronzer or something in the summer. So I think I'll put this in my everyday drawer actually. This next one is actually one that I just recently got. This is the Ulta Baked Bronzer in the shade Made in China. No, just kidding. Okay, I guess it doesn't really have a um, shade number, but it's really pretty. I've been using it the past couple weeks because it's still kind of been hot here in Houston. Um, I'm gonna keep this, definitely. It's definitely still good. I got it like last month, so I'm gonna keep it. This next one is the Morphe uh, Powder Bronzer in Debutante. It's got a 12 month lifespan. This is actually really pretty. It's a little like, it's like super pig pigmented. Um, like, let's see if I can swatch it for you. Yeah, it's super pigmented. Um, so you don't have to be careful with this, but I'm gonna keep it. I did like it, so 
Okay, the next one, I love the packaging of this. This is the Lisa Frank bronzer by Glamour Dolls. This is also a very pigmented bronzer. Let's see if I can show you. It's huge. Oh, it feels so nice. Hmm. This is a little cooler toned compared to that Morphe one. It doesn't really have an expiration on it. I think I'm going to keep it, if not just solely for the packaging. Um, I've been kind of ruthless, so I think I deserve this one. <laughs> okay, let's see. This is the Moods by Laura Sanchez bronzer. Um, I think this was in an Ipsy box. I got a ton of use out of this, you can tell, because it's really dirty and gross. Um, but I just don't think that I need it anymore. Um, let's see the color of it. Yeah, it feels kind of weird, so I don't think it's good anymore. I might have gotten this like two years ago or something in an Ipsy bag. I think I'm going to chunk this. So next I have this Sugar Contour Mini Bronzer in Woody Wonder. This I also got in an Ipsy like I think a month or two after that Moods one. It feels, it does feel really nice. It still feels good. No, it doesn't really show up at all. I think I'm just gonna see if a friend wants it maybe because it doesn't really show up on me. Maybe it'll show up on somebody who is very fair skinned. Um, so I'll see if a friend wants this. The last one here is this NYX Sunny Bronzer, not NYX, NYC Sunny Bronzer. Um, Y'all, this is so beautiful. I was obsessed with this. I have probably had this for like three or four years and I used it pretty much every single game day. It's absolutely gorgeous. I don't know how I didn't get rid of this. I used it so much. Um, it says it has a 30 month lifespan, which is just a little over, it's like two and a half years. Yeah, two and a half years. I definitely have had this longer than that, so I'm gonna chunk it. It's probably bad, um, smells a little weird, so yeah, I'm gonna chunk this, but I definitely recommend it if you're looking for a drugstore bronzer. Okay, so bronzers, I'm keeping one, two, three, and four. This one's going in my everyday. And then I am chunking these three, and I am seeing if a friend wants this one. Moving on. Ooh, let's get into some cream highlights. So this one I'm pretty sure is bad. Is it lifespan on here? <gasps> Three months? Ooh, this is a NYX Away We Glow liquid highlighter. Should have said that first. Um, in the color, um, Moonbeam. I really, really loved this, but I've definitely had it for like two or three years. So it's definitely bad, but this was so pretty. I, I definitely recommend if you are like a cream highlight kind of person, this is so pretty. It lasts really well. I use this a lot in the summer months, but gosh, only three months. That's crazy. I'm definitely going to have to chunk this. Okay, the next cream um, highlighter I have is the Specifica Rainbow Crystals Liquid Mineral Strobe in the shade Nebula. Um, this is like a bluey. Yeah, look at that. It's like a bluey color. It's really pretty, but I don't really think I would ever use this. And it's definitely not bad. It has a 12 month lifespan. I think I got this in the summer in an Ipsy bag. Um, so I wanna see if a friend wants this and they might get more use out of it than I would. Okay, this next one is the Mary Kay Glowy Finish Illuminating Stick in the shade Gold, or Gold or 6H20. <laughs> Um, this is very shimmery and I had this and I used it quite yeah look at that it's like all glitter I used it quite a bit I don't think they even sell this anymore and it's probably bad so I'm just gonna chunk it okay the next stick that I have is this barfly highlighter in the shade candlelit it's got a nine month lifespan this is also kind of bluey um, it's got like a actually like a pink shift i'm gonna see if a friend wants this i think i got i don't think hmm, this might be old actually yeah i don't want to risk it i think i'm gonna chunk this as well the next one i have is this mary Kay illuminating drops in the shade golden horizon these are so beautiful let me show you this was like a new product that mary Kay came out with in the summer a little goes a very long way it's gorgeous i'm not really using gold highlights right now because i am a little um more fair than i usually am in the summer so i'm not gonna use it right now but i will definitely keep it for next summer or when i'm a little tanner um 
I'm definitely keeping that and I highly recommend it. It's so beautiful. The next one I have is this Cover FX Glitter Drops. Oh, they're so beautiful. In the shade Nova. Let me show you guys this. It's, ah, oh, I'm like smiling just looking at it. It's beautiful. Oh wait, let me look at the expiration actually. 12 months, okay, we're good. I think I got this. Oh shoot, I might've actually gotten this around Christmas time last year. Look at how beautiful that is though. I'm not getting rid of it, I don't care. <gasps> Oh wow, goodness, it's beautiful. I'm definitely keeping this. I really only use this for like special events when I wanna be super shimmery and put it all like all over my shoulders and stuff. It's gorgeous, but I'm definitely keeping that. Love it, okay. Um, next one I have is this Incredible, Incredible You Glow Girl um, Jelly Highlight in the shade Cosmic Blur or underscore Cosmic Blur. Um, I don't think it's bad, um, but it is another one of those kind of blue toned highlighters and I'm not going to use that. So I think I'm going to see if another friend wants this one as well. Um, this is the Mary Luminizer highlighter from The Balm and it's in a little mini sample size. I've had this for quite some time, so I don't know if it's good anymore. Um, it's really pretty. I used it for a little bit, but I'm not dead over it. So I think I'm just going to toss this. I'm pretty sure I've had it for longer than 12 months and that's what the expiration says on it. So I'm going to toss this. This next one is a Winky Lux highlighter in, it's a holographic highlighter. I don't, it doesn't say a shade. Um, this was also from an Ipsy. I think this one's a pink, has a pink, oh, pink shift. It's like white. Wow. Oh my gosh. I actually just recently used this in um, a Instagram tutorial. Oh gosh, I do like it, but I'm going to show you guys later. I have this um, highlighter palette that has a bunch of crazy highlight colors and I think I'd rather keep that palette with a bu bunch of crazy colors for Instagram looks than keep this. Um, so I think I'm also going to see if a friend wants this one because it is really gorgeous. I just don't know if I would actually wear it enough to justify keeping it. So this last one that I have in this section is the Estate Doomy Pearl Baked Highlighting Powder. This is another one with a pink shift to it. Hmm, it's like pinky purple actually. It's like white pinky purple. You know what, I think I'm actually gonna keep this one. I just recently got it in my latest like Ipsy or whatever. So I think I'm gonna keep it and see if I won't use this like in the winter months. I'm definitely a lot paler than I've ever been in the past like eight years of high school and college. So I think I might keep this and see if I'll use it in the winter months. Oh, this is actually, we missed this in the cheap products, but this is a Wet n Wild blush stick in the shade Floral Majority. It looks gross because I think it has like foundation on the outside of it, but let's see how much is left in this. I just got this in the summer, I think. Yeah, there's still quite a bit left. Um, doesn't have an expiration date, but I don't think it's bad at all. I used it like last week and it was totally fine. So I'm gonna keep this. Um, it's one of my only cream blush products. So I'm definitely keeping it and we'll stick it over here instead of um, instead of in there. Okay, here is some larger, this, these are like my full size highlighters. This is the only like trial size one. So this is a Ciate London highlighter in Moon Dust. I got this as a sample in, I think, BoxyCharm or Ipsy. It is absolutely gorgeous. This has kind of been my everyday shade so um, lately. It's so pretty. I'm definitely keeping this and I think I'm gonna go put it in my everyday makeup drawer because it's so pretty. This is the Smoke and Mirrors Mega Glow Highlighter in the shade, oh, no, it doesn't have a shade, okay. Well, it's pretty, wow, it's pretty golden. This is also from the 99 cent store. Um, I just got it in the summer. I don't think I'm gonna use it because I have other golden shades that I'd rather keep that I'll show you, but um, I'll see if a friend wants this one because it is really pretty. For 99 cents, you can't beat that. This next one is the Becca Highlighter in Prosecco Pop. Oh my god. Ah, Y'all, this is beautiful. I'm gonna keep this for the summer. Let's see the expiration on this actually. 24 months, yeah. I definitely have not had it for that long. 
I really love this for the summer months when I'm a little tanner. I love gold highlights for summer, um, so I'm definitely keeping this one. The next one is the Essence Pure Nude Sun Lighter. I got this um, because I've had the normal Pure Nude highlighter. I wanted to try the golden one. It's really gorgeous, but like I said, I really only use gold highlights in the summer, so I'm gonna keep this for the summer. It is a 12 month lifespan, so I don't think I've had it that long. I think I might have gotten it in the summer of this year, so. The next one is the Ofra highlight in Rodeo Drive. I do really like this one. Oh, that's so pretty. But it's a little too dark for me right now. I think I'm just gonna keep it again for the summer. And the last one in here is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. This is the original one in uh, Be My Highlight. And this is really gorgeous. I think I'm definitely gonna get some use out of this in the winter months. Okay, so that looks a lot better. So, so far guys, I have this box of stuff that is expired, which is disgusting. So part one, let's just go through what we did. Um, we did all the primers, got rid of a lot, the setting sprays, the concealers, foundations, um, and then we also did all of my face products. So uh, powders, blushes, highlighters, bronzers, and cream products. We did a lot today, um, so I'm really, really proud about how much I got rid of and that a lot of it was expired, which is crazy to me. Um, so I'm gonna definitely try and be more conscious of that when I'm buying things. I'm gonna really try and use up what I have before I get anything else um, because what I have is about to go bad. So I really hope that you enjoyed watching that. Um, this will be part one, so look forward to part two. Bye guys.